The only public meeting for an oil pipeline's expansion's environmental review draft is set to take place in Bemidji. Hundreds will come to comment on the findings of the 746-page document tomorrow. As Mel Meyer reports, various environmental groups from around the area are busy preparing for the meeting. Outside the Bemidji Wells Fargo, protesters urge others to divest from the bank which supplied money to the Dakota Access Pipeline. Divest for Wells Fargo! But now that DAPL is moving forward with an executive action by President Trump, their message has shifted. Enbridge is coming to town! These activists are ready for people statewide to come and comment on the expansion of Enbridge Energy's Alberta Clipper Pipeline. The company is looking to increase the output from 500,000 to potentially 890,000 barrels each day. I would hope that anybody who cares about the issue will be there. Over the weekend, an organizer from the climate change organization MN350 addressed another grassroots group to get others interested in the meeting. Well, this is a people's issue, not a native issue, you know what I mean? Jordan Morgan is coordinating speakers to talk about different alternatives that the company could invest in instead. The Solution Summit wants to discuss um, the alternatives that we want to promote. Winona LaDuke, the executive director of the indigenous environmental group Honor the Earth, will also be speaking at the event. We plan to testify, we plan to talk about the full scope, and we plan to begin informing people about the impacts not only of this pipeline, but of the next pipelines that they are proposing. She is concerned that the company is moving ahead with this expansion before it finishes the replacement of Line 3. And my deal is you got to clean up your old mess before you make a new mess. Ambridge should do the same thing. Otherwise, the liability is transferred to all of us. But environmental activists aren't the only ones getting prepared. Law enforcement officials are also getting ready to control the potentially large crowds. Police Chief Mike Mastin says one of the biggest concerns is the unknown of how many people will show up and what they're expecting from the event. We've done a lot of planning and put some things in place so we can assure that everyone that's going there can experience a, a, a safe experience. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. Once the draft of the Supplemental Environmental Impact Statement is revised, the State Department would then decide whether or not to issue the presidential permit for the expansion. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.